Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about multi checkbox or checkbox group and how we can set the options of the multi checkbox from a collection in our database. First, let's make sure that dev mode is turned on. Then we'll go to the add panel and add a multi checkbox. The multi checkbox comes in with default values that you can see here and the manage choices pop up. But we want these options to come from a collection in our database. Let's go to the content manager and here you can see that I already created a collection called options. In the collection, I have three items, John, Andy and Ralph, which I'll use for the options for the multi checkbox. So now let's take a look at our code. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import Wix data. I'm going to use this API to query my collection. Inside my on ready functions, I'm going to query the options collection. And then I'm going to use the find method. And I'm not going to use any filtering because I wanted to bring back all the results. When the results come back, I'll create an empty options array. Then we'll iterate over our results with a for each loop. And each time the loop runs, it will push uh, into the options array an object with the label and the value uh, using the values that I get from my collection. Then I'll use the $W selector to select my checkbox group. And I'm going to set the options property to the options array, which of course contains the options that we got from the database. And let's now preview this. We can see that our options are now John, Andy, and Ralph. I'm sure you noticed that when we previewed, we first saw the default uh, options and only after a second they changed to the options that we brought from the data. To avoid this, we can set our multi checkbox to be hidden on load and then only show it after it's been updated. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. 